into my short 20 minute pilates flow um, or power pilates i should say um, so this is just going to be a nice little routine just to get those abs and glutes firing up um, if anything that i do um, in this video doesn't feel comfortable for you or if you have any injuries you need to avoid please feel free to just sit out have a stretch otherwise enjoy the work okay i hope you feel the burn kicking in so we're going to do a nice little bit of hard work here so let's just start in a nice comfortable seated position leg crossed is fine or you can stretch your legs out lengthen up through the spine so think about posture we'll bring the hands to the tummy and we'll just take a few abdominal breaths here just to connect with the core so take a lovely deep breath in and as you exhale draw the navel to spine so again breathing in feel the expansion and exhale draw the navel in Take two more, breathe it in. Exhale, navel to spine. Last one, take a lovely deep breath. And exhale, draw the navel in. And then just rest the hands by the side. So from here, we're going to come to a side bend. Inhale, bring the arm up. As we exhale, we're going to stretch over to the left. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, lower the hand down. Inhale, left arm floats up. Exhale, reach it over. Inhale to lift up, exhale, lower down. One more each side, breathe in up. Exhale, bend and stretch. Inhale, we lift, exhale, lower down. Last time, inhale, left arm, exhale, reach it over. Inhale to lift, exhale, lower the arm down. Now we're going to bring the hands up, interlace the fingers together, place the palms around the back of the head. So we're lengthening up through the spine. We're going to do a seated ab press. So I want you to take a breath in. As you exhale, start to slide the rib cage down as we're flexing. I'm also tucking my tailbone under and forward. Inhale, lengthen all the way back up. As we exhale, we flex through the spine. Inhale, grow nice and tall. Exhale, we tuck and flex. Inhale, lengthen back up. Exhale, flex through the spine, pull the belly button in. Inhale, grow nice and tall. Exhale, flex. Inhale, lengthen, two more, flex, lengthen, last one, flex, and lengthen, and release those arms down by your side. And just bring the hands behind you for a moment, just open the chest up, nice deep breath, and then bring the hands back. So we're going to come onto the hands and knees. So we just come into a few uh, cat stretches just to warm up and mobilize the spine a little bit more. So knees hip distance, hands directly under the shoulders, pull the belly button in, lengthen the spine. We take a breath in, as we exhale, tuck the tailbone, drop the head down as we roll up, take a deep breath, and as we exhale, release and lengthen out. Inhale, prepare, exhale, scoop into this stretch, breathing in, and exhale, release and lengthen, inhale, exhale, scoop it up, breathing in, and exhale, lengthen back out, last one, inhale, exhale, scoop it up, take a deep breath, and exhale, lengthen out, and just drop back into a shell stretch, just reach the hands forward, enjoy a couple of breaths down here, just lengthen the spine, <sighs> reaching the tailbone back down to the heels, And then we're then going to roll ourselves up. And we're going to come forward into a straight arm plank. So bring your sit forward onto the mat, tuck your toes under. So coming into a plank position, we're going to move from plank to pike. So from here we take a breath in. As we exhale, we're going to hinge back to a pike position. And then as we inhale, we come back forward to plank, chest over wrist. Exhale, coming forward, a back sorry. Inhale, bringing chest forward. Exhale, coming back into pike. Inhale, coming forward to plank. Exhale, coming back to plank. Inhale, forward to plank. Let's go for four more. So we're just mobilizing still, we're stretching. You can always drop down onto the knees into shell stretch and come into a half plank. One more time. Exhale. And then coming forward, lower the knees down, lower the chest all the way down to the mat. And just release the arms back behind you. So we're going to come into prone cobra. So 
So from here, as we inhale, we're going to lift the chest, rotate the thumbs out. So what we're trying to do here is squeeze the shoulder blades together, also squeeze our triceps, but not lift too high into your lower spine. But make sure you're not trying to lift up too high. It's more the upper spine that we're looking at. So as we inhale, we rotate out, lift, exhale, release, back down. Inhale, rotate up, squeeze the shoulders, exhale, release it down. Inhale, rotate up, squeeze, exhale, release. Four more. Breathing in and release. As we lift up, we're squeezing the triceps, the shoulders, releasing back down. Pulling the belly button, the waist in, and releasing down. Last one. Inhale, lift and squeeze, exhale, release it down. And just bring your arms forward for a moment. Rest your head down. Just give the hips a little wiggle side to side for a minute. Nice little deep breath there. And then gently bring the hands back. Press up and back into a little shell stretch again. So hinging back. Nice deep breath here for a moment. And then we're going to roll ourselves up. And we can lay down onto our back. So coming down, so we're going to begin with a little ab sequence. So hands are going to come behind the head. Feet are in neutral position. So when I say neutral, just have a little look down the body. Make sure you look nice and straight. So feet hip distance apart. Knees hip distance apart. Making sure you're in one long line through the spine. Pelvis neutral. Okay, so the hands are behind the head. So the ab prep that we're doing, it's like a three pulse ab prep. So I'll just do a quick demonstration. We're going to inhale, prepare. We flex forward for one, two, three. Inhale, release, back down. Okay, we're going to do 10 reps to begin with. So we're going to take a breath in. As we exhale, we flex forward for one, two, three, and release. So the breath is Inhale down. And release. One, two, three, and lower. Inhale, release. And lower. Five more here. Flex the five. Three, and lower. Four. And lower. Three. One, two, three. Three and lower. Two and lower. Last one. One, two, three and lower the head down. Bring the hands down by your side. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it just flashed up on my phone. Okay, hands down by your side. Coming to an infant position. Knees up at tabletop position. So scoop the belly button in. Coming straight into toe taps. We're going to take a breath in. Exhale, tap one toe. Inhale, bring the knee up. Exhale, tap the other. Inhale up. Exhale, tap. Inhale up. Exhale, tap. Inhale up. So as we're tapping the toes, we're really imprinting, pulling the belly button to the spine, sinking those abs down into the mat. And up. Exhale, tap. And up. Exhale, tap. And up. Exhale, tap. And up. One more step. And up. Exhale, tap. And up, and then just draw the knees into the chest for a moment. Maybe have a little roll into the spine. Nice deep breath. And then we're going to extend those legs up. So from here, we're just going to do reverse legs. So we're going to start with the legs slightly on the diagonal. Only reach them away as far as you can imprint. Hold your imprint into the mat. Hold that belly button in. Tuck the chin ever so slightly. Create length in the back of the neck. We take a breath in. As we exhale, bring the legs towards you. Inhale, gently back out, but holding those abs in. Exhale, bringing the legs in for two. Inhale, gently out. Three. So you want to feel the work coming from the lower abs. Exhale, four. Really sink that navel to spine. Exhale for five. Inhale, gently out. Exhale for six. Breathe in, gently out. Exhale for seven, and out. Eight, and out. Nine, and out. Last time, exhale, ten, and then draw the knees in. Again, just hug them in, relax through the back for a moment. 
Maybe a nice little massage. Ah, and placing the feet back down to the mat. So from here, we're going to do all three of those again. So hands come behind the head. So coming into the three pulse ab press, we take a breath in. We exhale for one, two, three. Inhale, release. Flex for one, two, three, and lower. Three. And down. Four. Five. And lower. Six. One, two, three, and lower. Seven. And down. Eight. Two more. Nine. And lower. Last set. Ten, two, three, and release it down. Relax the hands by your side. Come into an imprint, knees up at tabletop position. So come into toe tap. Really sink belly button tightly. We take a breath. We exhale, tap one toe. Inhale, come up. Exhale, tap the other. And up. Exhale. So really connect with that breath. Really sink those abs in. We do not want that back to be arching. You want to be feeling this in your lower abs. Exhale, tap. And up. Exhale, tap. And up, exhale, imprint. One more set. And up, love side. And up, hug the knees in. Massage the spine. Make sure the lower back feels okay. And then we're going to extend those legs up. And we're going to change the breath this time. So we're mixing it up a little bit. So this time, let's start with the legs diagonally towards us. Okay, so the toes are coming over the head, not over the head, towards the head. We're going to take a breath in. As we exhale, send the legs away, really imprinting. Inhale, bring the legs back in. As we exhale, we send the legs away, really pulling the belly button to spine. Inhale, come back in. So you're only reaching your legs out as far as you can maintain your imprint and keep your back flat. You might be able to go a lot lower than me. So if you can, go for it, challenge yourself. I've never been able to reach my legs too far out on a double leg lift. So just only go to where you're comfortable. That's probably my limit for me. Exhale, reaching out, pulling my abs in, flattening the back. Inhale, come in. Exhale, reach away. Breathing in. Let's go for two more. Inhale in, last one. Inhale in and exhale, just hug those knees in, massage the spine again. Nice deep breath there. Waking those abs up a little bit. And then let's roll ourselves up. So roll yourselves on up. And we're going to come onto all fours. So coming onto the hands and knees. So you've actually got two options here. So we can be on the hands and knees, or you can be on your forearms and knees. Um, we're coming into a little bit of glute work. Um, again, it's still pretty much everything working. Upper body strength is going to be kicking in. Abs have got to be pulling in. So we're actually working everything still. So your two options are on all fours. We're going to basically do a little leg series like this. So if you are on your forearm, okay, you still do the same thing. Just be careful with your back and arch too much. I'm trying to exaggerate that look. I want you to pull your tummy in so you're supporting your back. And we're just going to be working the glutes. So you can be in this position. That's absolutely fine if, you're, if you find it a bit too uncomfortable on the wrist. So choose your position. We're going to start with the right leg. So right leg extends out, toe taps down. Okay, pull the belly button in. Shoulders draw back. We're going to take a breath. As we exhale, lift the leg, squeeze. Inhale, tap the toe. Exhale for two. And tap. Exhale, three. And tap. Four. And tap. Exhale, five. Exhale, six. And tap. Exhale, seven. Exhale, eight. Two more. Nine, really squeeze in the bottom. Ten, this time as we inhale, bring the knee all the way through. We're flexing the spine so the knee comes to chest. Exhale, extend the leg back out, squeeze the bottom. Inhale, bring the knee in for two. Exhale, stretch it out. Inhale, three. Inhale, four. Inhale, five. Inhale, six. Inhale, seven. Inhale, eight. Inhale, nine. 
last one, 10, extend the leg out, hold it here, pulse it for one, squeeze the bottom, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bend the knee, flex the foot, push up to the ceiling, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and bring the knee down, come back into a shell stretch. So to stretch off, take a couple of breaths for a moment. And then come back up onto all fours. Choose your position on the hands or on the forearm. Extend the left leg out. Shoulders back and stable. Belly button draws in. We take a breath. We exhale this for one. Squeeze the bottom. Tap the toe down. Exhale for two. And tap. Exhale three. And tap. Four. And tap. Exhale five. And tap. Exhale squeeze. And tap. Exhale eight. And tap two more. Nine. Last one. And squeeze ten. Inhale, bring the knee all the way through. Squeeze that tummy. Exhale to extend and lift the leg. Breathing in for two. Exhale up, squeeze. Inhale three. Squeeze. And four. Inhale five. Inhale six. And seven. And eight. Squeeze the bottom as you lengthen out. Nine. And ten. Extend out. Hold the leg here. Pulse it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the knee. Flex the foot. Push to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, bring the knee in and come back into shell stretch. Ease off those wrists for a moment. <sighs> nice deep breath there. And then gently roll yourselves up. Flip yourselves over. Take a seat. So we're just going to come back into another little super set of abs again. So from here, we're going to start with half roll back. And then we're going to come into roll up. Okay, so... Um, if the roll-ups are too tricky, if you've got anything laying around at home, you can hook your feet under, or a weight, something that's weighted that you could perhaps lay down onto the feet just to help with that roll-up, um, you could do that, or you could tuck your toes under the sofa. That's a really good um, way of practicing the roll-ups. When we come to the roll-up part, you can always do a half roll-up, and I'll show you when we get there. Okay, so let's start flexing over the knees. So half roll back to begin with, we take a breath, we exhale to scoop, only halfway, tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly button in, inhale, dive back forward. Exhale for two, breathing forward. Exhale three, breathing in, really get that breath flowing with the movement, that will really help you engage those abs. Exhale five, inhale forward. Exhale six, inhale forward. Exhale seven, breathe in, reach. Exhale eight, inhale two more. Exhale nine. On this last one, we're going to roll all the way down and extend the legs out. So use your tummy muscles to lower yourselves down, stretch your legs long, arms come above the head. Okay, so coming into the roll up. So your full roll up will look like this. Legs are extended, feet are flexed. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, reaching all the way to the toes. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, rolling down. Okay? If you can't quite make it all the way, your half roll up will look like this. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, flexing forward as far as we can, lower those arms down. Inhale, picking the arms up, but holding your flexion there, challenge yourself, and then exhale, release back down. Okay, so, are we ready? We're going to inhale as the arms come forward, start to flex. As we exhale, pull your belly button to spine, reach forward towards the toes. Inhale, swoop up, lengthen. Exhale, roll back down. Inhale, start coming forward. Exhale, use that breath to get you there. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, squeeze those abs as you roll down. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale to the toes. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, scoop under, roll it down. 
Breathing, coming forward. Exhale, reach all the way to the toes. Pull the abs in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. We'll go for two more. Inhale, exhale, forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, roll it down. <clears throat> Last time. Inhale, exhale, flexing forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, rolling all the way down. We are going to do one more just to bring ourselves back up. So inhale, exhale, come all the way forward. Just have one more long stretch. And then lengthen up through the spine. Bend to the knees, plant the feet down. You might need to wiggle yourselves back forward on your mat. We're going to come into half roll back again. So flex over those knees. We take a breath in. We exhale to scoot the abs for one. Inhale, dive forward. Exhale for two. Breathe in, reach. Exhale, three. Inhale, four. Four. Five. And scoot six. Breathe in forward. Soften the shoulders. Seven. Keep scooping navel to spine. And eight. Two more here. Exhale, nine. Last one. We're going to roll all the way down through the tummy. We're going to extend. Extend those legs out, flex the feet, bring the arms above the head. Straight into roll up, inhale, come forward, exhale, reach towards those toes. Inhale, lengthen up, exhale, tuck the tailbone up, squeeze those abs in as you roll back down. Inhale, coming forward, exhale, flex all the way to the toes. Inhale up, exhale, lower down. Breathe in, exhale, reaching forward. Inhale up, exhale, squeeze those tummy muscles in, lower down. Inhale, coming forward, exhale, flex all the way to the feet. Inhale, swoop up, exhale, roll it down. So let's go for two more. Inhale, forward, exhale, reach those arms. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, squeeze those abs in. Last time. Inhale, coming forward, exhale, reach for those toes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, scoot back under, roll all the way down, bring the arms down. And you, again, you need to just wiggle back onto your mat. And I just want you to gently bring those knees into the chest. Just have a little massage into the spine. Nice deep breath. Good, placing the feet down. We've just got two more exercises we're going to do. Okay, we're just going to do a little combo of hip lifts and then straight into the hundred and then a nice little stretch. Okay, so feet hip distance apart. So bring the heels a little bit closer to the bottom. So just taking a moment to work back into the glutes for a moment. We're going to take a breath in. As we exhale, we're going to lift the hips, squeeze the bottom. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Breathe into lower. Exhale for two and lower down. Three, and lower. Exhale, four, and down. Five, and lower. Exhale, six, and down. Keep those abs nice and tight. Really push into the heels. Squeeze the bottom. So really try to get as much activation firing up through both sides of the glutes equally. Make sure we are squeezing both sides. Lift and lower. So let's just challenge ourselves in a moment just to make sure we are firing up both sides of the glutes. So on the next one we're going to lift and stay there, hold it, keep the tummy tight, squeeze the bottom. Inhale, pick one knee up, exhale, place it down, toe to heel. Inhale, pick the other knee up, exhale, toe to heel. Breathe in to lift, exhale down. Inhale, lift, Exhale down. Keep squeezing the bottom. We should not be letting those hips drop at all. Keep squeezing. Hold your abs in. If you really want to challenge yourself, bring those arms up. Palms face each other. So we now have less stability. If that's too wobbly, just keep the hands by your side. Keep squeezing the butt. And lower. Lift. And lower. Inhale. Lift. And lower. Lift. We're going to do one more set. Step, sorry, hold it here. Inhale, lift and lower. And then roll all the way down. Oh, draw the knees into the chest. Oh, nice deep breath there for a moment. And then place your feet back to the mat. 
We're going to keep this flowing. We're going to go straight into the hundreds. So feel free to keep the head down if the neck's feeling a little bit niggly. Or we can just have one hand pumping one arm. We can have one hand supporting the head. And when I say 15, halfway through, we can change. So just make sure you're supporting your neck in this one if you need to. And also, if you're used to the hundreds, please feel free to do any variation that you want to. Okay? So I'm going to bring the knees up at tabletop position, and I'm going to do the legs coming in and out. But your feet can stand on that, that's fine. So coming up into our start position, really relax the shoulders, relax the neck, engage the core, and we'll begin. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, fifty, in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, and in, two, Four, five and out, two, three, four, five and in, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five and in, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five, last one, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five, and release down. Ah, oh, relax the neck. Maybe roll that head side to side a couple of times. Place the feet down to the mat. Bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees drop open to the side. Just open up through the hips. Hands onto the belly. <sighs> Just take a couple of deep breaths here. And then gently bring the legs back together. We're going to hug those knees into the chest. And again, just have a little roll side to side, massage the spine. Nice couple of deep breaths. And then roll yourself on up. Just take a seat for a moment. Good. Just relax those shoulders. Just give your shoulders a couple of circles. Maybe just roll that head side to side a couple of times. Nice deep breath. Good. And that's my 20 minutes little circuit for you. Um, please feel free to just carry on doing some more stretches after if you need a five minutes for a nice little cool down. And I'll hope to see a few of you Saturday morning. Okay, take care guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye.